This is inchworm pose. It's a great pose for learning how to work with the tailbone and moving it. Uh, we don't have a lot in any of our physical activities where we actually work with the tailbone. So it takes some time to uh, develop the awareness and get this movement. And this pose really isolates it for us. The tailbone is at the base of the spine and it's moved with the pelvic floor muscles. These can be very weak muscles and this this pose will help you find them and use them. You start on your stomach with knees bent and feet flexed. Your forehead is on your hands in this position. But for this pose, I'm gonna lift my head up so that you can hear well. Number one is press the knees down and lift the sitting bones up. Now I want you to watch my low back I'm taking my tailbone towards the floor. Just visualize it, imagine it, and it will happen. Tailbone goes down and my low, my low back gets longer. And then I take my pelvic bones down and lengthen and look up. Think inchworm. Knees press down with the sitting bones, stage one. Now, this is the tailbone action. What not to do is you do not want to create buns of steel and really hug and take yourself down. Instead, knees press down, sitting bones lift. Then pelvic floor muscles, just visualize taking the tailbone towards the floor and lift your low belly. This will be the action. If you feel your low belly tone, you're doing it. My buttock muscles are toned, but they're not gripped like buns of steel. Stage three is pelvic bones down, lengthen through your torso and look up. Here's the three actions again. Number one, knees press down, lift the sitting bones. Number two, take the tailbone down and lift the low belly. The low back lengthens and strengthens. Number three, pelvic bones to the floor, lengthen through your torso and look up. 